a teacher or a student, you may have heard the phrase social emotional learning. For teachers, this is a popular idea, a buzzword, something you might think you should be doing but don't really know how, or maybe you think it shouldn't be your responsibility, especially if your primary job is to teach math or English. If you're a student, social emotional learning might be a phrase that doesn't really mean anything to you, or maybe it makes you think that your teachers are trying to act like counselors when they shouldn't be. Well, guess what? You're both wrong. So watch this short video to find out what social emotional learning is and why it matters. Students, raise your hand right now if you've learned anything in school that you think is gonna be 100% completely, absolutely useless in your real actual life. Teachers, raise your hand if you struggle to work with a student who has emotional outbursts or is highly unmotivated or disorganized. All of these challenges can be helped by social emotional learning. Social emotional learning is just learning and practicing the skills that are going to make you a happier and more successful human. According to Castle, the core skills of social emotional learning are self awareness and self management. Do you know your likes and dislikes, strengths and weaknesses? Do you know what you care about and what you need to be happy and healthy? Can you understand and manage your emotions? Or do you regularly lose your cool, get into detention, upset your parents, and make your own life harder? Social awareness. Do you have a sense of how others see you? Can you get along with people at your job, at school, and in your friend groups? Do you know when to follow the rules and when to challenge or break them? Relationship skills. Do you have relationships that make you feel good and like you belong in the world? Do you know how to resolve conflicts with friends or family members when they come up? Can you recognize an unhealthy relationship? Do you know how to repair or get out of one? Responsible decision making. Okay, I kind of hate this one because what teenager actually cares about making responsible decisions? I'm not accusing you of being immature. I'm just saying that when I was a teenager, that sounded really boring. So here's a better way to think about it. All of us have things that we care about and want in life. If you make a decision like to skip school or talk back to your parents or not do your homework, that decision has consequences. I once heard that a responsible decision is a decision that you're willing to accept the consequences for. If you blow up at a friend and lose the relationship and it's a relief to not have to deal with that person anymore, great. But if you blow up at a friend because you can't manage your emotions or communicate effectively and you lose somebody that's actually important to you that you care about, then that's a real bummer. Responsible decision making means that you don't take actions that hurt you in the long run and prevent you from getting what you want out of life. So to recap, learning social emotional skills can make you happier and help you get what you want out of life. You get to decide what matters to you. Social emotional skills will help you get there. Teachers, explicitly teaching social emotional skills is only going to help your students do better in your classes. That's social emotional learning in a nutshell. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. I am not a doctor or a counselor. I'm just a high school teacher who is passionate about sharing important real life skills with my students. I have done as much reading and research as I can to bring you quality information on the topics covered in my videos. If you don't believe me, check out my sources and find out for yourself.